Tell me some of the other places that you visited. I understand you were in Alabama, which is one of the poorest countries in the Union. Um, I read that there you saw examples of poverty that were quite shocking. Um, open sewage systems. Um, describe in a little bit more detail what you witnessed and, and what struck you. It's interesting because I think in developed countries, we don't tend to think of sewerage systems as an issue. No, it's almost taken for granted. We assume that by the end of the 19th, beginning of the 20th century, one of the great achievements was running water and sanitation systems. What's really interesting to me is that right now, in India, there's a huge campaign to provide effective sanitation systems for everyone in the country. India has a very big problem of <clears throat> what they call open defecation. Mm -hmm. They realize this has enormous health consequences and so there is a government-run campaign with vast amounts of money being spent to try to provide sanitation for all. I go to Alabama and I discover that outside of the main cities most places don't have any government provided sewerage systems. What they have is their own uh, septic tank system, but because the soil is very hard in much of Alabama, the costs can easily mount to $30,000 to install a septic system. If you're living in poverty, as uh, many Alabamans do, you certainly can't afford 30,000. You may then have a very elderly septic tank, which doesn't function, or you simply don't have one, and you have what they call a straight pipe. A straight pipe goes straight out into maybe a nearby stream, if you're really lucky, but less, more likely, is into the back garden, the backyard. And so what I saw are these sort of cesspools around houses where the sewage is just flowing out. I asked health authorities, so can you give me a, an estimate? What percentage of people in the state don't have access? Uh, I couldn't really tell you that. Hmm. Okay, so do you have a program where you're sort of trying to progressively extend? Oh no, 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 no. There are grants from the USDA for people if they want to apply for them, but it's quite time consuming and I guess not many people really do apply. Hmm. So what are you doing about it? Well, I mean, it's not our responsibility. And of course that encapsulates it. My sense is that governments have a variety of responsibilities. Conservatives, of course, will agree that security is absolutely essential. National security, external, but internal security, policing and so on. Governments must provide that. But clearly governments also have to provide basic infrastructure. And infrastructure is not just airports and roads and so on. Infrastructure is enabling people to get access to water, enabling them to have access to sanitation, and enabling them to have access to things like decent schools and basic healthcare facilities. Mm -hmm. What did the people that were living in these conditions uh, tell yeah. you? Um, who did they hold responsible um, for the lack of sewage systems? That's another part of American exceptionalism. In many countries, you would find people railing against the government and saying, this is unacceptable, etc. In America, some people feel that way, but a lot of people say, well, you know, government, they don't do anything for us. Why would I count on them? So they don't hold government to account, uh, which I must say I find strange. Mm.